Hello and welcome to our second installment of the Prophecy 2022 webinar series. Today's topic is Control Loop Optimization Made Easy with Prophecy CSense. In today's session, you'll learn about the new tools available with the latest version of Prophecy CSense to help you optimize unhealthy control loops and create simulations in just minutes. My name is Justin Palmer. I'll be your moderator today, and I'm joined by Kovis Van Heerden, the Senior Product Manager for Prophecy CSense. Before we begin, I want to cover just a couple of housekeeping items. Firstly, uh, please enter your questions through the, um, the, the icon at the very bottom that says Q&A. Uh, please feel free to enter those throughout the webinar, and then we'll answer those at the end. Your video window can be resized with the maximize icon at the top right. Uh, you can also manually drag this to your desired size. Throughout the webinar, if you do have any issues with the tool, simply hit the refresh button on your browser. So GE Digital is one of five businesses at GE. We focus on developing world-class industrial software for our customers, as well as supporting GE Power, Renewable Energy, Aviation, and Healthcare. Our purpose is to transform how our customers solve their toughest challenges by putting industrial data to work. What unites GE Digital is our vision. We bring simplicity, speed, and scale to our customers' digital transformation with software that helps them to better operate analyze and optimize their business processes. So with that, I'm really excited to hand you over to Cobus who'll take you through the latest updates with Prophecy CSense. Over to you, Cobus. Thank you, Justin. Hi, everyone, and uh, welcome. It's fantastic uh, to spend time with you today to um, show you and tell you more about how Prophecy CSense can make control loop optimization really easy. So let's start with uh, an overview of, again, a reminder, an overview of what is Prophecy CSense. So when we uh, talk about CSense, it is uh, in the context of uh, industrial analytics. And um, this is a well-known uh, industrial analytics maturity model from the analyst group Gardner, where they think of the analytics landscape uh, basically in four categories, from descriptive analytics to diagnostic to predictive to prescriptive. Um, where descriptive is really just what we used to know as classical reporting, just asking the question, okay, using data to quantify what is currently happening and really just describing uh, what the current sort of performance is, typically uh, embodied by what we used to know as classical reporting. Um, but then you move to the to the to the realm of diagnostics where you want to start to ask ask the question so why did it happen and uh, you know get some root cause analysis get some insight some understanding uh, on why did something happen and and how you can what you can do about it from there we want to move on to predictive capabilities where algorithms like AI and machine learning uh, is used to really look forward and say, okay, what will happen in the future? What will the performance be of my operations or plant or equipment if I continue in the current way? And then lastly, sort of the ultimate is prescriptive capabilities where analytics, algorithms, um, you know, AI, uh, machine learning capabilities are, are really used to, to really be prescriptive in saying what specifically do I need to do as a operator or an engineer or a uh, industrial customer <clears throat> in every single moment in time so that I can consistently get the best performance. Now, in the um, Prophecy portfolio, you know, our products like Prophecy Historian and Prophecy Plant Applications uh, are, you know, fantastically positioned helping our customer to, for example, in the case of Prophecy Historian, to record historical data so that they can have precise information about what happened um, and where Prophecy Plant applications really operate, help customers operate their manufacturing plants, um, you know, by adding the uh, operational uh, context to data and just helping them run their plants effectively, but also moving into the realm of providing them with the necessary tools to not only monitor things like, uh, you know, and track uh, their performance in terms of things like downtime or quality or throughput or OEE, but give them the tools to start to understand and gain insight on how they're performing and how they can improve. 
but from there onwards um you know today we're talking want to talk about prophecy seasons in in how uh analytic software industrial analytic software like prophecy seasons can then uh, be be added or layered on top of those operational systems that can utilize the data from those systems to then help customers uh, using algorithms, AI, ML, uh, move forward to really, uh, based on analytics, understand why things are happening, how they can improve it, to predict performance into the future, but also to move all the way to prescriptive to know exactly which settings and set points and actions they need to take in every moment to get the best performance in their plans consistently. So um, Prophecy CSense <clears throat> is industrial analytics software that utilizes the data from operational systems like our Prophecy Store and our plant applications to uh, help customers using analytics determine very rapidly why things are happening what will happen in the future in terms of performance and uh, what they need to do about it to maximize performance of their assets or plants. So <clears throat> it, prophecy seasons, like we just mentioned, let's look at why it's valuable and what is the problem that it is solving for our customers? Well, it is industrial analytics. It's comprehensive and unique industrial analytics software that helps uh, manufacturing customers optimize asset and process performance. Um, our, what we are hearing from our manufacturing customers is that they face variability in their performance and in their processes uh, based from various sources. It can be from raw materials, from human behavior. And it is uh, fantastic that the various operational systems operate their plants, but what it doesn't do is optimize performance for them. And it doesn't necessarily help them to manage and continuously improve uh, variability in their process and asset performance. And variability is very expensive. It uh, results in suboptimal throughput quality and performance of manufacturing plants that uh, have undesirable outcomes for our customers. Well, what CSense provides is a comprehensive and unique industrial analytics software solution that easily layers on top of uh, the diverse landscape of existing operational systems, whether it's SCADAs, DCSs, historians, or MES systems, and enable engineers in manufacturing plants to apply the latest in analytics and AI and machine learning uh, to their available operational data in hours in a self-service way, which enables them to rapidly and continuously uh, optimize and improve their manufacturing performance, whether it's throughput or quality or energy efficiency, enabling them to avoid unplanned downtime. And all of this without the need to be data scientists. This enables our customers to operate more effectively and uh, consistently optimal. CSENS does this in a unique way. Um, you know, we find that CSENS is unique uh, in the market in the way it integrates five analytic capabilities into a comprehensive self-service analytic solution designed specifically for engineers that enables engineers to go all the way from, you know, uh, analysis to monitoring, to prediction, to simulation, all the way to uh, real time, closed loop optimization of process uh, performance. So CSENS enables engineers uh, to really analyze the performance of uh, their manufacturing plants based on available data from the operational systems to really rapidly in the, in the matter of hours, gain valuable improvement insights as to the reasons why performance may not be optimal, why there may be variation uh, in their process performance, what are the root causes and how they can improve, um, you know, performance in their operations. Secondly, and it enables engineers to configure and deploy monitoring solutions that can continuously monitor the health and performance of assets and process 
as well as the topic of today, which we will elaborate more on later, which is monitor the health and performance of the tens or hundreds or even sometimes thousands of PID loops, manufacturing plants. But it also helps engineers to use the latest in machine learning and analytics and sort of AI capabilities to predict performance um, using machine learning models so that uh, they can take more proactive actions. For example, predict quality of products from laboratory samples in real time uh, so that uh, companies can do real time quality management. Also, CSENS enables engineers to create uh, process digital twin simulation models of their process performance, which enables uh, customers to just make more accurate decisions at a lower cost because sometimes um, it is slow or expensive or even dangerous to do uh, sort of real and live tests on the actual process and with simulation models um, customers can do what if analysis and scenario simulations or tests uh, against a model and not on the live process and lastly uh, seasons enables engineers to um, configure optimization solutions that uh, can um, actually calculate the optimal settings the best settings uh, or uh, recipe settings or set points for their process in real time um, and that can typically lead to up to 10 percent improvement in manufacturing throughput all of these five capabilities in an integrated self-service way in a single product uh, aimed uh, made easy for engineers we find that this is quite unique in the market in this way, CSENS delivers value in hours, in a matter of hours, quantified value to customers. In that it firstly enables uh, engineers to very rapidly understand the root causes of process variation or unwanted variation in performance like throughput quality, yield, efficiency, etc. Um, in that it provides easy analytics tools that can mine new insight from their available data uh, that comes from operational systems uh, like process historians, SCADAs, DCSs, MES systems about the root causes of issues, but also how they can, what they can do to improve uh, their process performance. Secondly, it enables engineers to configure and deploy monitoring and prediction solutions that can continuously monitor the health and performance of assets and process and predict process performance ahead of time so that customers can run more predictably, have more consistent performance and reduce performance variation in their operations. And lastly, engineers can uh, deploy simulation and optimization solutions where CSENS can continuously recommend the optimal settings or uh, recipe settings on how to run the process or the asset to get consistently optimal performance, whether it's throughput, quality, efficiency, um, or, uh, you know, OEE metrics. And, uh, you know, this can either be recommended to operators to take manual action or in real time, close the loop and uh, do real time closed loop set point optimization and control to really help customers uh, move towards the autonomous plant or the autonomous factory that is consistently and continuously optimized in real time. We find from our customers that this, uh, these capabilities can uh, deliver value in hours by gaining new insight, improvement insight in hours, but ultimately deliver five to 10% improvement in performance uh, or even more sometimes. And so the question uh, I have to, to all of you is what would be the value of 10% improvement in throughput quality or efficiency or OEE in your plant? So what does this mean for engineers? Well, with CSENS, engineers, process engineers, control analytics engineers, automation engineers, 
are empowered um, with a easy to use comprehensive analytic solution designed specially for them that enables them to really utilize their unique domain knowledge about their manufacturing plants or assets or processes, but complemented by or empowered by analytics without the need to be data scientists, they can make uh, rapid and significant improvements in the performance of their manufacturing uh, plants and processes powered by analytics or assisted by uh, analytics from Prophecy CSENSE, which puts engineers in a unique position to deliver massive value to their organizations helped by simple analytics software like CSENSE. But let's look at what is in the box. So um, what are the main components of uh, Prophecy CSENSE that deliver uh, these uh, capabilities and value? Well, firstly, CSENSE consists out of three product components, namely, um, you know, firstly, the CSENSE troubleshooter. Um, CSENSE has uh, easy analysis tools called the troubleshooter um, for process engineers that process engineers can use to rapidly uh, analyze available historical data to gain new improvement insights and answer all the why questions and identify root causes of issues or troubleshoot process performance very rapidly and gain insight uh, in a matter of uh, minutes to hours. Then secondly, CSENSE has uh, a architect, which is a visual drag and drop analytics uh, development and testing environment for engineers where process engineers or automation engineers, control engineers, reliability engineers, uh, analytics engineers, also data scientists and or in co collaboration with data scientists can easily and visually develop and test analytic solutions for process monitoring, prediction, simulation, optimization, where these solutions can then be deployed to run permanently in production in the CSENSE runtime, reading data continuously from available operational systems like SCADAs, historians, DCSs, MES systems, and others, calculating valuable set points, recommended optimal set points, or simulating process behavior, or predicting performance, or monitoring the health of assets and creating alerts if deviations are, um, are uh, detected. In this way, CSENSE removes the traditional barriers to analytics for manufacturing customers. Um, in our experience, what we've heard is that traditional analytics tools were often <clears throat> uh, designed and developed with data scientists in mind, firstly, and not easy to use for uh, engineers, but also um, that the reason why customers uh, often fail to deliver value with analytics is that firstly, their data is in uh, many different siloed systems in diverse formats. And firstly, it's difficult for them to access their data. Well, CSENSE makes it easy to access data in variety of operational systems like SCADAs, historians, MESs, DCSs, and other relational databases. Secondly, it was then difficult for customers to combine the data from all their various systems, easily combine it together in context and prepare it and reformat it for analysis. Again, these problems are solved by CSENSE, uh, which makes it, uh, that makes it easy for engineers to easily combine data from various diverse systems, disparate systems, um, and uh, format and prepare it for analysis. And then um, next, CSENS then makes it easy through a variety of, uh, you know, easy analytics to, for engineers to gain rapid insight um, from their data, to analyze their data, to identify root causes, um, to configure an analytic solutions. That can then easily be operationalized or the insights that they gain can easily be uh, operationalized or um, you know deployed 
uh, or shared with their organization. In this way, CSENS removes the traditional barriers to value from analytics for manufacturing customers and enable manufacturing customers to gain value from their data using analytics in hours. This is just a, um, and I'm not going to talk through all the detail here, but CSENS is today used across all of these uh, vertical industrial markets and segments by many customers for all of these uh, kinds of use cases and applications, solution applications, which you see listed here. Um, from the ability to, you know, enabling engineers to easily combine uh, historical data from operational systems and gain insight from it, um, to continuously monitoring the health of assets and process or batch, golden batch processes, and uh, also continuously monitoring and optimizing, uh, you know, hundreds of PID loops typically found in PLC or DCS or SCADA systems. Um, I've highlighted specifically that use case because we will, this is the topic of our webinar today and I will elaborate on that more a little bit later. Um, but to predicting process performance like quality using machine learning models, creating uh, simulation models or digital twin models, uh, all the way to real time optimization of process settings and uh, or process or recipe settings or set points uh, for closed loop real time control or operator decision support recommendations. In this way, CSENSE makes analytics accessible, easily accessible for every industrial plant by providing a single unique comprehensive analytic solution that enables descriptive all the way to prescriptive analytics from offline analysis all the way to real-time closed-loop control and optimization specifically designed for engineers so that they in a self-service way can add rapid value to their organizations. Being made available uh, with a very accessible economic model so that customers can start at any time with whatever budget they have available with small investments and grow their investments as they show rapid value to their organizations. And being offered by G Digital as a sustainable uh, global partner in industrial software and analytics where customers can partner with us and benefit from the long-standing and in-depth uh, experience and heritage from GE in industrial manufacturing and continuous improvement, Lean and Six Sigma. So how does CSENS fit into the prophecy portfolio? CSENS uh, is the on-premise analytics solution in the prophecy portfolio. So, um, you know, as you also will learn from all the other, uh, you know, webinars we are doing in the series of our Prophecy 2022 uh, uh, portfolio launch. Um, in the Prophecy portfolio, as you may know, we offer from SCADAs to MES to historians to a variety of other Prophecy software in a comprehensive integrated portfolio. And in that portfolio, CSENS. Uh, is our on-premise analytic solution that makes it easy for engineers to optimize the, their processes and the performance of their operations on-premise. So why is real-time closed-loop on-premise analytics, plant analytics, why is that important and what sort of role does it fulfill? Well, firstly, um, with CSENSE as a on-premise analytic solution, um, engineers and manufacturing customers can optimize the performance of their manufacturing plants on-premise by easily adding CSENSE onto their existing on-premise operational systems like SCADA's, MES's, historians to um, you know, optimize performance like avoiding unplanned downtime, maximizing throughput, 
uh, you know, quality or energy efficiency, uh, often up to or by 10% or more. This is uh, important because uh, real-time on-premise plant analytics um, firstly enable real-time analysis of data and real-time closed-loop actions even to the point of recommendations to your operator or closed-loop control um, which really lays a foundation for uh, customers to move all the way to autonomous self-optimizing plants but also because it's on premise, it means it's really cyber safe. It's utilizing your data where it is. Your data never needs to leave your plant. Um, and it provides a simple and easy add on optimization layer to your existing diverse, often heavily regulated operational systems like SCADA's historians, um, MES, which are not innovation or optimization. Uh, products. So this provides the analytics add-on, the optimization add-on for those, um, you know, uh, for the plant and which is really aims to empower your existing staff, your existing engineers at your plants to continuously and easily optimize the performance of your manufacturing plants. <clears throat> CSENS easily integrates with the Prophecy family of products as part of the Prophecy uh, 2022 portfolio, but also with other third-party products. And what we are finding is that typically uh, manufacturing customers in their plants often have a diverse landscape of operational systems. And so CSENS easily and seamlessly layer on top of that and interface with it based on open standards like OPC and others. So let's uh, let look for a moment at what is new in the latest releases of Prophecy CSense. So just starting with, um, you know, uh, Prophecy CSense 8.5. So uh, last year we released Prophecy CSense, uh, sorry, I mean 8. Uh, last year in 2020, we released Prophecy CSense 8, um, where we made very valuable new capabilities available, which I just want to highlight. So you may already know that as a comprehensive analytic solution, uh, CSENS makes it easy for engineers and data scientists to deploy Python, to utilize the latest of Python modules and algorithms and easily operationalize it as part of CSENS analytics. Well, in CSENS 8, we introduced a Python module manager where it is now really easy for um, engineers to add and install and manage the latest popular Python libraries with their CSENS installation. Also, uh, we introduced a plug and play uh, connector for alarms and events data for Prophecy Historian, enabling engineers to now very easily analyze alarms and events data with sensor data uh, from, from their Prophecy Historians, enabling them to easily troubleshoot and analyze the root causes for specific alarms and events all the way to the sensors and the process, uh, you know, sensor data that, that may explain why those things happen. In the area of AI and machine learning, we have uh, introduced support for the ONNX standard, which makes it easy now for engineers and data scientists to develop AI and machine learning models in any of popular tools of choice. And then as long as they can export those models in the ONNX format or standard, that can plug and play be deployed as part or operationalized and deployed um, in real time as part of CSENS analytics. We also introduced microsecond uh, resolution support for Prophecy Historian data, making it easy now for engineers to analyze and uh, process analytics on high frequency events, high frequency high resolution data in Prophecy Historian. We also introduced a brand new uh, web UI uh, you know, user interface where and visualization um, where CSENS can 
produce out-of-the-box reports, web reports, to monitor the performance of PID control loops, we will, which we will talk about a little bit more in a moment. And we started to, um, we started to uh, translate seasons into new languages. Then, uh, just a month or two ago this year, we released uh, Seasons 8.5 where we introduced a more flexible installation options. We added support for OPC UA. Um, but most importantly, and the topic of today's uh, webinar, we introduced new tools for engineers for control loop uh, optimization, um, in, namely a brand new system identification assistant and a brand new PID control loop tuning assistant, which I will elaborate on in a moment. But also, uh, we are about to release the international version of 8.5 now in this month, which uh, makes CSENS 8.5 available in uh, new four new languages, including Japanese, Chinese, Russian, and French, which I'm super excited about meaning uh, you know those native speaking customers will be able to access the software and benefit from it in their own native language you may also be aware that um, <clears throat> this year we have uh, started to uh, introduce a limited time offer where we offer for any new customer who buys any new csense uh, license 8.5 license we included six hours of free get started consulting with every for, for new customers buying new licenses. Um, I am ex super excited to announce today that we have decided to extend this offer into 2022, meaning that any customer for the rest of this year or next year who buys uh, a new seasons license or invest in new seasons licenses will be entitled to six hours free consulting from seasons experts to help you, uh, you know, get started with the software, including installing it, connecting to your data, and then experts will guide you on as to how to utilize it on, you know, your first most important use case to analyze, monitor, predict, simulate, or optimize uh, your your process. So to summarize what's new uh, in CSENS for uh, this year, in this quarter, um, it's super exciting that CSENS 8.5 is our latest version. It's available now with brand new capabilities that can help, uh, you know, SCADA manufacturing customers, especially SCADA customers to really optimize and monitor their PID control loops in minutes. Um, also, we super exciting to announce that we are extending the six hours free consulting offer uh, to next year, to 2022. Um, also, just to remind everyone that uh, you can access 30 day free trial licenses of CSENS via our website. If you just go to the link that you see there and looking forward a little bit, our next major release of CSENS that we are planning will be Prophecy Seasons 2023, uh, targeted for Q4 next year. We typically have one major release every year, and that will be part of the Prophecy 23 portfolio release next year, where we will be focusing on continuing our modernization and um, you know continuing to release new exciting capabilities with Seasons. So. <clears throat> That was uh, just uh, the context. Uh, let's dive uh, deeper into how seasons can help customers optimize and monitor control loops in minutes. But firstly, why is that important? Why is it valuable? Why does it even matter? Why is it necessary to monitor and optimize control loops that are present in PLC, SCADA, and DCS systems. Well, unhealthy PID control loops, of which there are often many, tens, sometimes hundreds, sometimes even thousands in manufacturing plants, those control loops are controlling everything from your pressures to your flows, to your temperatures, to your densities, to your 
you know, in your manufacturing process, they are controlling your machines, your processes. If they are unhealthy, if they are not working well, they can cause and create a lot of process variation, which can ultimately break your equipment and cause downtime. It can reduce uh you know production capacity it can create waste bad quality production but with the new capabilities released in seasons 8.5 it is now possible and easy for um, manufacturing customers to monitor and optimize continuously monitor and optimize the performance of all of those pid loops using seasons and in this way, engineers can really uh, reduce variation in the process or in the plant, uh, avoid unplanned downtime, reduce waste, and really just improve and maximize uh, equipment life, throughput, and production capacity in the plant, often just by optimizing and monitoring control loops, often up to 5% or more in our experience is the kinds of benefits you can see by continuously monitoring and optimizing all the PID control loops uh, in your, typically in your PLC, DCS or SCADA systems. How does Seasons do this? Well, in Seasons 8.5, <clears throat> firstly, um, you can configure Seasons to continuously monitor all the PID control loops that are present in your PLC or SCADA system. This can be done rapidly. Um, and uh, essentially, CSENS, we refer to the solution as CSENS Process Plus. It is out of the box. It will in a, you know, typically take a day or so to configure and install. And then you will be receiving out of the box web reports that shows you and tracks and monitors the performance of all your PID loops, how they are doing, how healthy, healthy they are, um, whether they're performing well. Uh, and you can um, view those reports uh, from a web browser or on a tablet or a phone or even on a, um, you know, uh, mobile devices. This solution will then identify, help engineers to rapidly identify uh, underperforming loops or unhealthy loops or loops that need intervention or action or maintenance. And then with that, um, in 8.5, we are exciting to have uh, released two brand new tools uh, that then helps engineers to rapidly tune those loops and, and, and um, optimize those loops. Firstly, we have released a new system identification assistant that um, can help control engineers or automation engineers or process engineers to uh, quickly in a matter of minutes estimate process models dynamic transfer function behavioral process models from available data from those that are recorded by csense uh, for those control loops so firstly, the system identification assistant can help engineers to model the process in a matter of minutes using the data that's available. Um, and uh, secondly, um, a brand, the brand new PID loop tuning assistant can then help engineers to calculate, to tune those loops, to calculate for uh, the best PNID settings um you know for a specific loop to get the best performance out of that loop those new settings um are then uh, you know saved to the seasons database and displayed back on the seasons reports web reports for the specific loop as the recommended pnid settings where engineers can compare it with the actual settings on the plant in the plc or, or SCADA at the moment and if it is not uh, the same, then they can go and physically update the settings in the SCADA or PLC um, to be the recommended, to implement the recommended settings which seasons have calculated. And that will typically result in improved or the optimal performance of the loop, which will reflect back on the uh, performance reports 
So typically the next day, the engineer will see uh, an improvement in the performance of that loop. And in this way, Seasons provides a full set of uh, tools, an easy set of tools for engineers to continuously monitor as well as optimize uh, their process control loops. So the first brand new capability that we introduced with 8.5 was the system identification assistant. And with this assistant, like I uh, just mentioned, uh, engineers can, using historical data, with a click of a few buttons uh, in a matter of minutes, estimate or derive process models for, their, for a specific control loop that um, from their available data. These process models can then be used in the control loop tuning tool to tune the loop, or it can be exported and you use in the seasons architect to simulate the process behavior or even to implement advanced process control, uh, you know, solutions like model predictive control, which seasons can also do. Secondly, the brand new PID control loop tuning assistant helps engineers then to utilize these process models that uh, can be created using the system identification assistant to calculate by a click of a few buttons the optimal and best PNID tuning settings for a specific control loop. Um, now, in the first version, we are only supporting PNI loops, PNI. Uh, settings, but we have it on our roadmap to also expand to uh, derivative uh, settings. These recommended settings are then saved to the database, displayed on the web reports, um, so that customers com can compare it against what is actually in the PLCs and, and, and uh, you know, SCADAs. And um, <clears throat> or these, uh, the, the tuned loop can be exported to the Seasons Architect as a uh, PID controller so that uh, the control loop can be simulated and tested uh, or for expanded towards advanced regulatory or advanced control uh, using CSENS specifically. So how are customers uh, benefiting from CSENS today? This is a selection of examples across many industries, across the different types of capabilities of season, showing how customers in food, in water, in paper, in metals and mining, in gas, in you know food and beverage, in energy, are improving performance in their plants significantly by often up to 10% or more by implementing CSENS and using it to analyze, monitor, predict, simulate, or optimize asset or process performance. You can also see examples here on how, uh, you know, customers are monitoring and optimizing their PID control loops, uh, which are the capabilities, the new capabilities that we just uh, explained and introduced to you um, in a matter of minutes you can uh, tune loops and make significant improvements to how your uh, you know process or asset performs but typically you are seeing customers uh, increasing throughput by 10 percent uh, improving performance of you know fermentation processes by seven percent reducing energy usage by 35 to 45 percent so Seasons is a comprehensive, unique, proven analytics capability and solution that are being used across industries uh, by com customers to um, optimize their processes, including to monitor and optimize the uh, performance of their PNID loops. And you can read all our customer stories at the link uh, you see there on our website at the top. But what I would absolutely recommend is that you visit our YouTube channel at the link you see here to see where you will see short, exciting five-minute uh, 
typical, you know, five minutes or less video demos of how seasons are used to analyze, to predict, to simulate, to optimize, but also very specifically how seasons in minutes can be used to monitor and optimize PID control loops. Uh, visit our YouTube channel, our Prophecy Seasons YouTube channel, and, uh, you know, there you can watch short and exciting video demos on how seasons can monitor and optimize PID loop performance uh, in a matter of minutes. And with this, I will hand back. Thank you very much for this amazing time to spend to you today to, uh, you know, give you an update on uh, CSENS as part of the Prophecy 2022 um, um, launch, portfolio launch, and to tell you what's new, but also introduce you to our exciting capabilities to monitor and optimize control loops with CSENS. And with this, I'll hand back to Justin. Thank you, Justin. Hey, thanks, Kovis. Uh, that was a fantastic uh, update. I really appreciate it. Uh, look, one thing I want to remind you of, if you haven't seen the Get Started consulting offer that Kovis mentioned, make sure you take advantage of this offer because it is being extended. Um, this will accelerate your time to insights. And I've heard some amazing examples from Kovis. Um, so definitely take advantage of that while it's still available. As a reminder, please also enter your questions by clicking the Q&A icon at the bottom right of your window. Uh, today's session, as a reminder, is part of a series of webinars that we're bringing to you until February of next year. We have tons of content to come, and this is covering our second annual portfolio-wide release. We have a lot of great uh, product updates to come, so make sure you register by the URL at the bottom of the slide. And if you miss any, a replay will be available. So with that, Let's jump to Q&A.